When I sat down to write this showcase, person after person told me to find a student and tell his or her story. So I struggled and I was confused when I had to choose just one student. I'm a general ed English teacher at a very diverse public high school of 3,500 students. As an English teacher, I made a choice to stop teaching reading and writing in a traditional way. Instead, I created a fully functional iOS device film company in our school, functioning more like a private business that invited community members to commission the students to make films. State and district ELA standards are not the focus of these classes, so I found it funny this past year when we were awarded the English Program of Excellence for New York State. <laughs> My students still learned how to write essays, text analysis, literary elements, but they also learned time management, responsibility, determination, critical thinking, problem solving, risk, and reward. And the passing rate of these classes was 96% regardless of race or socioeconomics, with students scoring higher on the standardized tests. Well, my students began to get calls from the strangest of places. Chancellor of Education for the state of New York, Dr. Betty Rosa, commissioned my students to create her video address for a statewide education conference. A top New York City morning program asked my students to create a student-centered piece about Martin Luther King for their 2016 Black History Special. The crew of the musical Hamilton invited my kids backstage to tour and to interview a number of crew members. And not only did my students get to interview Emmy Award winner Michael Park from the 2017 Tony Award winning musical Dear Evan Hansen, they got to go to the show and attend a special talk back. That's when it hit me. The reason I couldn't identify just one student was because what we accomplished in our school, we accomplished together. Sure, we had created a program that obviously taught reading and writing in an interesting way. But more importantly, we had created a program that taught real world school skills and the students did it together. There's Savannah, a student who struggled her freshman year to write a basic paragraph, but during her senior year, won best documentary at the Future Filmmakers Film Festival. Or Chloe, who suffered from crippling anxiety but found her voice behind the camera directing her peers when the Counseling Center commissioned a piece on teen harassment. Or Dennis, who was commissioned by the music department to create a piece on race and identity, two issues that he struggled with in his own life. Lecturer Marianne Williamson once said, in every community there is work to be done. In every nation there are wounds to heal. In every heart there is the power to do it. That's what I learned when I created this program. And by preparing the showcase, I realized I didn't do it alone. Woo! <laughs>